This easy digital tutorial today is to show you how to use the sports template. First, let's talk about our workspace. We like to have the character palette, the history palette, and the layers palette available on the right side. And the way you can turn these, toggle these on and off is with the window and then history, layers, character. Just check these boxes and they turn off and on. I also like to highlight the move tool and turn on auto select layer and show bounding box. This template was created with Photoshop CS3 but today in the tutorial I'm using Photoshop 7.0 to show you that you can mix these there saved for maximum compatibility. So first let's open up the template that we're going to use. Here's what the template looks like. Sports template, large, open. It's going to ask if we want to update layers and we say no. Alright, here's our template. This is what it looks like. And the first thing I always like to do is save the original template and make and work on a different one. So I'm going to change this to one and save it so I'm not working on the original template. Alright, now I'm working on a backup. And today we're going to change this to a football template that's red. And I want to just go over our files here. We have vertical, I mean text vertical, which is the vertical, the vertical text right here down the left side. We have horizontal text which is this text right here. We have sports clip art text which is this ribbon. Background colors are the whole background and we have our photos file. Okay so let's get started by changing everything to red from green. So we'll start with the top file vertical text. I'm just going to arrow down, turn off green these are these colors are in alphabetical order so red is down here turn on red and just for space we're going to go ahead and close this back up we're going to turn on text horizontal turn off green turn on red our red layer and close this file up Sports clip, clip art is going to be football. And we're going to turn off ribbon. Close that file. Background colors. Turn off green. Turn on red. Alright, so we have our colors. And we're going to go ahead and close this up. Now to work on our photos. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the file that says your photos. I'm going to come up here to file, open, and today we're going to first start with some sp sports action shots. So I'm going to open this. This is going to go in our smaller area here. So I'm going to just drag it over there and I can see that it's it's not really in the right folder but it doesn't matter but I'll just show you how you can just drag that down and you just want to make sure that um, it's above these photos so you can drag it up or you can just turn these turn these off so that we don't have to worry about them so we've got our photo here I am putting it up in this corner and I'm going to press shift and while shift is pushed I'm just going to take this corner and pull the side down to get my photo sized. And I'm going to arrow it up so it's centered and then press enter. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my next photo. I'm pulling in this other action shot. I'm going to drag it in, arrow it up to the corner, shift, drag it down, and I'm going to press this, my arrow keys over to get this where I want it and I press enter and now my photos are in place. I'm going to go ahead and shut that. 
Okay, let's do a little bit of work on this text. We'll start with the vertical text. Right here, I'm going to highlight my type tool and it's going to ask if I want to change the layout. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to change this to say, oh, I'm going to use cap lock, football. And let's say I wanted to say team. And we can see it's coming off the screen there. So I'm going to come over to my move tool and I'm going to arrow it down. Now you can do a lot with this um, type. You can double click it and you can change the size and you can arrow it up and down. You can change the font if you decided you wanted a different font. Um, any font you have you could change it to. I like the Verdana so but the reason I like the history tool is because once you make these changes you can just go right back and change it if you mess with it and you don't like it. So now we're going to come over to the horizontal text. We can change the name here. Um, Timmy. I'm going to highlight it. it. My caps lock is on. Change the age, change the year. You can actually put anything you want here. This is all free flow. So. Okay, so this is pretty much done, but I also want to show you um, how versatile this is because you can also, there's a lot you can do with this template, but you can also turn this off. You can turn off any layers that you want. So you could just make it real simple. You could turn off the clip art and you could do it for any sport maybe a sport that we don't have a clip art for. So it's really there's a lot you can do with it. Now before we're finished I just want to show you it with a team photo. So I'm just going to cut put a team photo in here. And this one is not in the right spot so it's I'm just going to drag it down. What I really like to do with these is I'm going to undo. I like to press control and my bracket to arrow things down. It's a lot easier. It just arrows the layer down. Now I'm going to go right and left bracket, go up and down. And, oops, okay. And then I'm just dragging that out. And file, open. This is the team picture. It's a little blurry because it's just for demonstration. Again, it's not in the right spot, so I'm going to do control and arrow down. Oh, went too low. Okay. Arrow this up, drag it out, and press enter. Now, as you can see, this top photo is overlapping, and you, you could put this behind this one to prevent that from happening. But if you have a situation where it's overlapping and you can't do that, you can just come over to this tool and you can just square off that area and then press delete. press delete and it removes that area. There's several ways you can you can remove those but that's one way. Alright, if you have any questions please email us or leave comments at easydigitals.com and I hope you enjoy the template.